Well, you know, it's, I, I give our players a lot of credit. It's something that we've talked about when they came on campus last September when we started fall ball. And, and uh, we talked about, hey, we get one chance to do this. It's our first year in this new league, and we want to kind of set a mark for what we want to do. And, and uh, you know, this team, especially with all the adversity they've dealt with, we've had a, a slew of injuries this year and critical situations with key personnel. And these guys have kept plugging. And we, we stubbed our toes a, a few times, and we didn't know if they were going to be able to pick themselves up. And if you would have had a chance to see them play Saturday, I mean, that was a special game. Back and forth, back and forth. Give Xavier a lot of credit for what they did as well. But I didn't know if our guys could continue to muster up the energy they needed to, and they found a way in the 12th. And then, you know, what Brian Silva did in the bottom of the 12th. Uh, well, it would it, go down as one of the top five games that I've been a part of here at at Creighton, and uh, we hope that's a springboard into what we want to do this weekend. The awards came out today. Uh, what does it mean to be the Big East Coach of the Year? Well, it just tells you that we got some players that that are, are pretty good, and uh, you know you can have good players, but sometimes young players don't want to be coached either. And these guys have allowed us to coach them a little bit. They've allowed us to put them into our system. I think our system is foolproof. I like our system. I think it wins us games. I think it sets up well in championship games like we saw on Saturday and like we'll see this weekend. So the credit goes to the players. Um, and I appreciate their, their allowing us to coach them a little bit and, and uh, being open-minded to our system. And uh, it's been fun. It's been fun, and I, uh, and I hope it continues this week. The fun really begins now when you get into conference tournament play because we know what we have to do. You do you? Well, just I think we only had one other group that's probably dealt with more adversity, and that was the 2005 team, which I thought about a lot this week because they were beat up on the mound a lot, lost a lot of key personnel, and they kept on fighting and fighting, and they won the first Missouri Valley Conference championship for us. And here we go in 2014, and we're in a new league, and we're trying to do the same thing. And you look around, we lose our catcher, we lost some pitching, and and were beat up a little bit, and the pitchers were tired, but they found a way to do what they had to do last weekend. And You know, what's remarkable is we had to go on the road the last two weekends and beat good teams, and we had to win the series in both those cases. It's not like we won it at home. So we, and and uh, they weren't home much either. We just got home Monday afternoon, and we were back on that bus on Wednesday morning at 7.30. So when you really look at the big picture of what they've done, it, it, it'll go down as a special season for me. It's one that I'll remember for a long time. Speaking of pitching, how's, how's it set up this week? Well, we hope Matt Warren will be available on Thursday. Uh, I'll, we're going to have practice here shortly, and I'll see how he's doing. Um, hopefully he doesn't have any setbacks from his 39 pitches that he threw on Saturday. And then I'd like to get Brian back in his original role, which is to close games. I think we found out that that game on Saturday, how important a closer is, because we had a chance to close it in the ninth and the 11th, and we had difficulty doing that. So, But we'll start Matt unless we have a setback. If we do, then I'll probably look at Brian as, because that Thursday game is huge. In a, in a tournament format here, you don't want to get to that loser's bracket. Reagan so, was named the player of the year in the conference. What has he meant to this team this season? First of all, it's well-deserving. He's been our most consistent player from the beginning of the season till now. He's a tremendous defensive player. He saved our infielders a ton this spring. And then he just kind of knows how to hit. He's had five or six big, big hits, including Saturday. We're down three to one in the top of the ninth inning. The base is loaded. Here comes Reagan again. Base hit the right field to tie the game three to three. So I'm happy for him. He's a quiet guy. He works hard. Uh, he, he doesn't. Uh, he's an easy guy to deal with. A lot of fun to be around. And he's starting to take on some leadership ability too, and some, some leadership qualities that I. I, I didn't know if he had. I'm starting to see little bits and pieces of that. And, and uh, so it's well deserved. He, he deserves it, and, and uh, he's been our most consistent player from the get go. Reagan doesn't look like a guy. Uh, what'd you think? Uh, it was pretty cool. It's an honor. And I give a lot of credit to my teammates. I couldn't, do, couldn't have done it without them or the coaches. And now uh, it's, it's really neat. Did you ever imagine that this could happen for you? Uh, no, especially at the beginning of the year, the slow start, and we were kind of struggling, and then we just picked ourselves up and started playing better and uh, finished strong. Mm -hmm. what, what does it mean, though, to win the, the regular season champion? I know you have work to do, but just mm -hmm. to get one under your belt and be the first team in Creighton history to win a Big East championship. Uh, it's, it's, it's really exciting, and uh, we set a goal out from the beginning of fall ball that we wanted to win the first first uh, championship baseball-wise, Big East, New Gear, 
our new league first season. So that was our goal, and uh, we accomplished it. What's been the difference for you this year? Uh, I, I don't know. I think just more being more mature playing and uh, not hanging my head on bad at-bats and just knowing that there's more opportunities, so I just got to stay focused. When you get behind guys like Jake and Mike and Brad, it provides a lot of opportunities. How, I guess, over a long season, you know, staying strong mentally, knowing that you guys have constant opportunities to drive in right. runs. Uh, well, hitting behind Jake and Mike, it, it's pretty good because they get all the tough pitches, and then I kind of get, like, the leftovers. So I'm a big fan of that. But uh, uh, it's fun, and they do a good job, and they, they make it easier for me. So I couldn't do it without them. Part of your game that may not get talked about as much but was probably a factor in you winning this award was defensively. I guess what strides have you made in that area this year and what's your mindset out there defensively to make those plays in the dirt? Uh, I don't know. Uh, the infielders, I mean, they just got to field it and they throw it and my job is to catch it. So whatever, wherever the ball's going, I, I'm supposed to catch just it. Just keep so. it simple. Yeah, just got to catch it. Tired, but you know, yeah. getting that rest. So. I mean, can you can you feel the, the difference knowing what you've gone through this weekend personally? Um, yeah, a little bit. You know, there has just been that fatigue, and you know, I think on uh, that uh, Saturday game when I went out there in the 12th, there was a lot of adrenaline going. So I didn't really feel it then, but I mean, after that 12th inning, we got the win. It was a bit tired. Yeah, but what does it mean though for you not only to, to win the conference championship as a team, but for you personally to, to help them get there? Um, you know, it's just. Kind of what I went back and when I talked to Coach Service earlier in the year saying I want a bigger role and trying to help out the team as much as possible and getting that start and then coming in on the 12th that very next day to get the save and to get the championship for us. I mean, it was a good, it was a good experience and you know, something I'll remember, but it was just it was a lot of fun. What about winning this first game? Yeah, I mean, knowing this tournament format, you know, even if you win the winners bracket, the two games, you're still one and done in the championship. But that's kind of unique, and how important is it though to get that day off and play the tournament? Yeah, I mean, especially with the pitching staff, and you know, just with the consecutive games in a row, getting that first win, and then getting the day off in the middle, it's just going to be a big, um, big advantage for us, and hopefully we get it done. So, I mean, yeah, just big advantage is, is the main thing. Is it affected and you guys are on the road the third consecutive week? You guys are, are you guys tired? Uh, you know, travel does take a toll, but I mean, flying is a lot easier than driving. <laughs> you know, sitting on a bus for 12 hours gets to you. But um, I mean, we've been doing it all year and taking a lot more road trips than we did last year, especially with flying. So I think we're accustomed to it now and we kind of have a routine when we go out there and we'll treat this as, you know, maybe any other weekend, but just maybe the stakes are a little higher, but I think we're ready. It it told me he thought the bus ride would be a positive bonding experience. <laughs> yeah. There's I mean there's a lot of talk that goes on in the bus. I mean long